What's going on guys, Waco for Revolution, here with Bandit Co, Jeremiah Chan, and the legendary Sassin Shamakis. Uh, Hi guys. CEO and founder of Kustos, how are you sir? I'm very good, very good, very happy. Uh, the, my last day in Singapore, so oh, okay. how can I finish better with you guys? <laughs> Thanks so much for coming. Uh, thanks for coming, how do you thank like you, the Revolution you. Watch Bar? This is an amazing place, you know, uh, downtown, downtown Singapore, high ceilings, cool place. Looks like you're beginning, but you're already at your top, so... <laughs> well, you know, we're happy also because it seems like finally they're relaxing the, uh, the restrictions in Singapore. You know, you were able to come without any quarantine, which is great. It's like finally the world is over like, yeah. with the pandemic and we're so happy about it. And so uh, the whole objective here is to have dinners, is to, to invite people, to have drinks with us, to look at watches and really spread watch Did you give bar. a name to this place? It's the Revolution Watch Bar. Revolution Watch Bar. Exactly. No, because I also have a watch bar in, in Geneva. And yours is huge. Uh, yeah. 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 But yours is cool. Cool too, so yeah. maybe we can have a drink after. Yeah, of course, with pleasure, <laughs> with great pleasure. Or if you want, we can have even a drink during, if you want. That's cool too. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, Sassu, tell us a little bit about why you're in Singapore. So, I came to Singapore um, to present my new label. It's like a, a new brand, in a brand, it's called Metropolitan. And I had to come here myself to, because it's been uh, at least five years now I, I couldn't come. And I personally wanted to show these watches to the press, to you and to Raymond. Raymond is our new distributor uh, of Cortina in, in Singapore. And we had a very good feedback in, uh, in Geneva, but uh, unfortunately not all the Singaporeans would come in there. So we came, I came here with my family and uh, with this lovely watch and a few others. So uh, I want to see the feedback as well, you know, what to, what's the from the market, from the, the professionals, because you, you guys in Singapore are, are the most professional in the watch business, I think. Uh, if you compare before, we were saying Italy, Italian market is the most developed and the, where the journalists, they know, but here in Singapore, like, you guys ask me always, what's the movement, what's this, what's the, how it works, so, yeah. so it's very challenging and a lot of ideas too, so that's very good. And you guys have time, because when we are all in Geneva, we are left, right, and here we can spend time, discuss, yeah, there are many passionate enthusiasts and collectors yeah. here. Yeah. We have a lot of, um, of uh, nerds here, yeah. you know, including yeah. us. We're, we're, yeah. we're nerds as well. So, I mean, uh, Sassoon, you were saying that the Metropolitan occupies an interesting position in that it's like a brand within the brand. Tell us a little bit about the inspiration for the Metropolitan and how does it work? Yeah, so it's been now a couple, like four years, because I have a partner, he's a designer, uh, Antonio, and he worked for, for many brands. And we partnered like 15 years ago. And it's been four or five years I'm asking him, Antonio, let's do a watch that is more mainstream, that is more, uh, maybe a little bit more classical that uh, we can wear because the Custos regular line is very sporty and technical. And, and me, myself as well now, I'm, it's been 20 years I'm in the watch business. So I, I want to relax a bit and try to wear some watches that I love and that I can wear every day. Yeah. Uh, so we, the idea was to design that and it took a lot of time to, to inspire, to make a watch that doesn't look like another brand, and, but it is very different from the Custos line but still has some DNA. So all this work uh, combined with uh, maybe tens and twenty pieces of uh, prototypes, you know, uh, months after months. And finally we arrived uh, two years ago with a, with a design, 3D design, right. and with this 3D design and my machines and uh, my technical people, we, we, we develop a full line, which I took, I told you, more than two years after to, to make it perfect, like the quality, the, 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 the line, the movement, the production. So, the, but the inspiration came from there, to, 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 to have a watch that, that is more mainstream and uh, that fits uh, our collection. Yeah, when we look at the case, it looks much thinner than, let's say, the C-liner or even the chrono. Yes, uh, actually, uh, that was one of the, the features we told Antonio to, to make a case that can go under the shirt. Mm. And uh, this is one of the features. And the second one, I mean, I'm not a professional sportsman, but I play a lot of sports, in sp uh, especially squash. And I wanted to watch to be very light but not just one model, you know, just like the full line to be light. So we decided to do titanium bracelets, very thin and very comfortable. So comfort what was one, one of my main criteria that I told Antonio to the, I want a totally comfortable watch so I can play the myself squash with it. Have you tried? Have you played with yes, it? Yes, I, oh, wow, okay. I did it. I did it. I wouldn't present the wow. pictures and produce Amazing. them. So right. yeah, I played it uh, on both arms and with a metal strap. 
so that the was the yeah. yeah. But wow. you know, if the watch is light, then yeah. it works. Yes. Because it can be very comfortable, but if, w if the weight is, n is heavy, then it doesn't work. So yeah. You were very yeah. thorough with the testing, both, both wrists. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you want to be you sure? Know, my, my, right, <laughs> my right wrist is quite, uh, quite thick okay. compared to the left one. I have like one centimeter difference on the diameter. Wow. So when I change from left to right on the metal strap, it's very complicated, but we have a fine tuning on that one. Yes. The, the classic Metropolitan. Yes, so on the titanium bracelet. Yeah, yeah. So that the story came from, <laughs> from all those places. Yeah. I had the opportunity to see this watch when I was at, uh, in Geneva, at Jean Pod. Yes. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. So it's, in, in, if I'm not mistaken, it's in grade 5 titanium, correct? Yes, that's the one here is grade 5 titanium with the interchangeable bracelet. And the line will be very exclusive. And we are really uh, touching, uh, really, I told you, the perfection in finishing. And also, we are developing now a jumping hour for a limited edition for, for Sincere for, for the end of the year. That's so, cool. So the line is really done on a, on a clever basis for quantity and, uh, and uh, limit limitations. There's only 100 pieces limited okay. in Sapphire Crystal at 35,000 Swiss francs. Wow, that's an incredible yeah. price for yes. Sapphire Crystal yeah, case. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's impressive. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to, to, to enter because I believe, okay, uh, Sometimes you say steel can be more expensive than gold because of the limitation, like or the Daytona or silver. But I think to sapphire must cannot be more expensive than gold because me, yeah, I'm from a production people, and it could be on one piece, two piece, then you make a marketing around it. But in a general line, I think I position in a good way and um, I control the production as well. So uh, I positioned there at 35K. So now we are, we are really thinking how to, and I want to use Metropolitan to, prom to promote, you know, the brand. Right. That's the idea. Yeah. I, I like also how you've combined the Sapphire case with this really cool uh, movement in terms of its architecture. It's very transparent. Yes. It's super skeletonized. You've got like a date wheel that like you can see through as well. You've got this really cool um, seconds indicator that's got these three arms that are spinning around. I mean, uh, tell us a little bit about like the, the movement. So to go deeper in the movement, we have a big factory in, in Geneva where I make all my, <coughs> my cases, my dials, the, the base plates and the bridges. So many Custos, we didn't communicate too much about that, but we have a really good backup for, for doing all the, the production. So the movement, yes, we, we, Antonio, he's an engineer as well, movement engineer. So he redesigned a completely new base plate. And then we, we add some bridges and some dials. And the rotor, yes, is also, uh, is also very special, made in-house as well. Yeah, and the rotor has a QR code. Yeah, the rotor is a QR code. Okay, I know today is very fashion, uh, NFT, everybody do NFT and this and that. Me, I'm more uh, real from a, like a real product. Sure. I respect what others do, of course. But this one, no, it's an individual uh, QR. So each watch has a different QR. And the final owner can uh, scan it and he can see the number of his watch. He can oh, see all, okay. the, all the features of, of the piece. He can see his movement actually inside. And the customer and can connect yeah, with the company through the this brand. page. He can even send us a message if he wants. And okay. we can offer him, like, I don't know, extensions of... Uh, That's cool. Whatever. And, so we are finalizing this part right. before we, 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 we put the watch on the market. What's the plan for the future? How much of the um, of Custos is going to be the Metropolitan? So for the moment, uh, let's say it's, um, it's 500 pieces. For, we, we do around 1,500 watches a year. Okay. So today, 500 is maybe 25%. Uh, you know, we go according to the, to the wave. Uh, for the moment, I really want to have the, the watch in the flagship stores. Right promote it, push it, and quantity doesn't matter. And that's why I didn't push this watch a lot for the sales. I'm just doing the promotion myself, going to different countries, seeing the, the best journalists, myself, calling them, talking with them. So that's the, the new Sassoon uh, is coming <laughs> on the market. <laughs> that's cool. And Jeremiah, you attended the launch for this watch. What were the impressions of the Metropolitan when you saw this? I, I think, you know, amongst all of us in the press, we were just completely impressed with the sapphire case. Mm -hmm. And just because, like you said, it's thinner, it's more wearable. And I, when we spoke uh, at the event, you said you went through like a, a maturing, you know, now that you're a bit older now, and you, you're thinking of moving into a slightly different design language as well. So I think that backstory as well, and you coming to the forefront, of the brand, you know, sh like you said, showing your face more. I think mm. people want to connect with yeah. you and your brand. Yeah. No, it's true. It, it's been, uh, I told you, five, six years uh, I was not in Singapore and uh, that was a mistake from my side. 
But anyway, it's never late to, to catch up. I think it's, you're, you're right, like as you, because I, you know, I'm quite old now, but as I get, <laughs> as I get older, um, I, I have an increased fixation with ergonomics. Um, I prefer watches with uh, more classic proportions and a little bit more um, discreet styling, even if it's something really cool like a Sapphire craze. But I think it's a, it's a lifestyle, not only for watches. I mean, the more you grow up, the more you yeah. look for comfort. Yes. Uh, you like to have a, a better house, you want to have a, uh, comfort in uh, when you travel, comfort when you wear, you know, you, like, you, I think luxury is a different approach when you grow up, uh, unless you really are like maniac for big things, but Absolutely. I think you, 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 a lot of friends around me also, they look, uh, you know, for, for, for this comfort thing, so. Yeah. Cool. Well, uh, yeah. Tassoon, we got to thank you for joining us here at the Revolution Watch Bar. Thank you for bringing the Metropolitan with the uh, really cool Sapphire case thank as well. You. We really appreciate it. Good to see you, man. Thank you, Wei. Thank, thank you, Tassoon. Yeah, hope to see you soon. Yes, very soon. Cheers. I hope too. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.